Hello, welcome to Cube Puzzle Fun, the YouTube channel where I tell you all about these things. These are cubes, and we have a lot of fun. These are uh, neat puzzles. Uh, once upon a time, about 50-ish years ago, not quite 50, but almost, uh, as I filmed this, uh, Mr. Rubik invented a neat little puzzle game thing, and then about 40 years ago, as I filmed this, uh, it became an international smash and so many people have one of these things and uh, some people can solve it and some people can't and uh, this is a channel for people who can eh, solve it and people who can't solve it because uh, we can show you how to become one of those people who can solve it uh, we talk in plain simple language and we go slow enough so that uh, anybody at any level, hopefully, can understand. Uh, today we're talking about uh, Rubik's Cube and we're talking about corners. Uh, because Rubik's Cubes, um, they are just made up of corners and edges and centers. Uh, and when you get, like, this is a 5x5 five five, and so there's, you know, there's more, there's like middle centers and just, I mean, you know, who wants to look at that? Hey. Uh, but yeah, Rubik's Cubes, you know, they just have centers and edges and corners. And uh, any of these cubes have just eight corners. If it's a two by two packet edition kind of thing, then all it has is eight corners and they're just all, you know, mushed together, eight corners, smash them together. There you go. There's a puzzle. Um, and if you have, you know, a Rubik's Cube, you still, you have, you know, eight corners and, uh, you know, four by four, five by five, eight corners. It's still going to have just eight corners. Uh, so whatever side you're working on, say you're working on like the red side here, you know, there are going to be four corners that have some red on them. And there's going to be four corners that don't have some red on them. Consequently, those four corners will have orange on them, uh, just because orange is on the opposite side from red. Uh, but, you know, that's just some extra information. But, yeah, there are sequences of moves that you can use for moving uh, edge pieces around. And there are sequences of moves that you can use for moving corner pieces around. And the particularly useful sequences of moves are the ones that you can use for moving corner pieces around that don't destroy the work you already did. Because, uh, you know, a sequence of moves is usually just only helpful if you're not destroying uh, things that you are, you know, you fix a piece and then you fix some more pieces and then you fix some more pieces and then you need some sequences of moves that don't destroy that work that you already did. Okay, so uh, what kind of moves can you use uh, in a non-destructive way to uh, move some corners around? Uh, the most useful one is the one that we uh, call corner juggling, and I think everybody calls it corner juggling. But uh, corner juggling, what it does is take one corner and not move it at all anywhere. And it will take the other three corners and move, rotate them around. This one will go here, this one will go here, this one will go here. Uh, they will not still be facing the same direction. They will, uh, this one will sort of like flap over that way, this one will flop over that way, and this one will do some kind of whirly dirly and get over here. Uh, but basically, uh, what a regular corner juggle would look like is you just move uh, your left side up and I think the way that the easiest way the way that makes it so that I don't mess up is I think of the bottom the bottom this is the top and it's blue and it's mostly solved and so this is a great non-destructive thing that's not gonna mess us all up it's blue on top it's got to be green on the bottom so I lift up the green side elevator and move this passenger off but not really off so that's a way of saying I move the left side up and I take the top piece and move it to the back now I take your right side bring that up and move that top piece to the back which brings the other one back to the front and then I just put that guy back down and then I just bring this guy back to the front and put that guy back down. Then, 
one last thing to do, very important, is you just move your whole top back over one. If you don't remember that, uh, you can really sort of mess up. You're like, this is a very non-destructive thing to do. I just move these three corners. But if you don't do that, then it's slightly destructive because you just sort of mess things up a little bit. Yeah. So uh, I am going to do that one more time. You move the left side up, move the passenger back, move the right side up, you move the passenger back. That brings the passenger back over on this side and put that back down. You bring the passenger back over on this side, put that back down, and then you move uh, this over. Uh, the reason I got to skip is because um, all I did was just do that corner juggling once to get it there, and if you just keep corner juggling, it'll get back to itself. But anyway, I'm mean, who cares, whatever. Uh, but yeah, that is um, that is the corner juggling. And that, of course, is a very, very, very uh, important corner move to know. It helps you out tremendously in solving uh, Rubik's Cubes. Uh, another a very, very awesome and useful non-destructive way to move some corners around is uh, something that I, on uh, Cube Puzzle Fun here, call the uh, scenic route and like I call it left scenic route and right scenic route if I'm going to do a double and like do the mirror of the first one. Um, but in, most people in cubing call it a soon and an anti soon and a or they call it soon-a. Some people like there's different pronunciations. Anyway, whatever. Uh, but what it, how it goes basically is that sometimes you will just have your last two corners that you need to fix and uh, I would say you look for the direction that has headlights and you point the headlights out to the right side of the cube uh, so if you get to the last two corners and you have this where it's they're not the same color uh, pointing out to the right side of the cube uh, you can just look and I'm telling you the same colors will be pointing up and then you just flip the cube around and now now it's good uh, so scenic route and uh, reverse scenic route looks something like this uh, you bring this is white up top so we will have yellow on the bottom you bring the side where your headlights are you bring that elevator up and that's all yellow then you take this yellow passenger and you bring them all the way to the opposite corner of the office building. All the way. Way off. He was looking out the front window. Now he's looking out the back window. And you bring that elevator back down. Now he's going to take the scenic route to get back on the elevator. So he's coming halfway back he's strolling leisurely the elevator's going up and down without him the elevator comes back up oh now he can get back on the elevator and just in time for the elevator to go back down so that is uh, a right side scenic route or assume what you know whatever uh, now we are going to uh, do the mirror image of that over on the left side of the cube so this orange bar comes up and that orange passenger goes from the front of the building all the way to the back of the building and the elevator goes back down without him now it is very important that as he's coming back to the elevator uh, taking the scenic route, taking his leisurely stroll, that he goes in the way that will not get him ground up in the elevator. The elevator is going up and down and up and down. So if he were to go this way, oh man, that would hurt. Oh man, yeah, you don't want that. So he has to come this way and wait here for the elevator because that is not on the elevator. Now the elevator comes back up passenger the yellow guy gets back on the elevator and when he goes down lo and behold your whole cube is solved that of course is a very very useful corner move to know and all it's really doing is taking two corners and just changing their orientation bringing them from here to here 
um, you know, it's just spinning this and spinning that. And that's, that's, uh, that's all it does, but that's all it needs to do. It's a powerful thing that doesn't take very much. Uh, in the very last video, I showed a thing called the sexy move, and that is a very useful thing to know about corners also. Uh, I find that a 2x2 two two is a very, very useful tool for learning all kinds of corner moves because all it is is corners. So you can just practice things to do with corners on a 2x2 two two until you're blue in the face. Uh, so here we go. Uh, this is uh, that sexy move. You will see that this green needs to go up top, and over here there's a green that needs to go up top. So all we do is we're going to bring this piece down and over, then bring it up and back. Down and over, up and back, as many times as it takes. Down and over, up and back, until that green goes up top. Down and over, up and back. Now that green is up top. And uh, that green was up top before we even did the back, but every time you do an up, you gotta remember to do your back, because otherwise, if you do not remember to do up and back, you will get yourself a mess. You will look at your cube and you will be like, how did I get such a mess? And it will be a total mess. Uh, so here we go. We're going to take the other uh, one that doesn't have green on the top and we are going to do that same sexy move down and over up and back down and over up and back and uh, that has us perfectly positioned so that we can just uh, flip this around and solve our cube there we go beautiful so those are some corner moves some non-destructive corner moves that are awesome and very helpful. I definitely recommend practicing all of them on a solved cube um, because when you have a solved cube, uh, you can see exactly what the results of a certain move are. Like if you have a solved cube, then you know if you do some corner juggling like this, then you can see exactly what corner juggling does to each and every piece. How is it now differently oriented? You can get a lot of information. Uh, and you can sort of reverse engineer. And also all of these corner moves, uh, if you learn them forwards, um, you can put in a little extra time and you can learn them backwards. Like I just did a corner juggle, but if I learn a backwards corner juggle, then uh, you can save yourself a lot of time and a lot of moves. So just, just letting you know. This has been Cube Puzzle Fun. My rap name is Alex. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something that's very useful to you. And I hope you will be back for future Cube Puzzle Fun videos. Peace, and I will see you later.